guys, this is Tiana with Video Hairstyles and I'm here in Beverly Hills at Kush Salon and I'm back with Chassie. She's one of the owners here, master stylist, and she's gonna demonstrate on our model Natalie how to do a chains and knots technique with hair. Okay, with Natalie today, um, a lot of girls come to me in the salon and they will always say, Chas, how do I pull my hair away from being just hanging down or in a ponytail? A lot of girls have a problem with shrinking their hair. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to take long hair and bring it back up to the head super easy and actually get, a ri get rid of some of the length. So what I've done is I've done some of the hair already and this is called chains and the knots. The knots actually are these little curly cues. They end up being like Zulu knots as some people know them. Um, and they, what they do, they will be my prop to pull the other hair that is existing down at the moment around them. So it doesn't really matter if the parting is super clean, you're not gonna see any of the parting. And it's better again because uh, Natalie's hair is curly, so it's way better that it is this kind of texture than straight, but you can do it on straight hair as well. I'm gonna show you how I did a, a Zulu knot and how I did a chain. And I'm also in the chain gonna show you how you can do an actual knot with the chain. Okay, so there's two techniques to that. All right, the first one, down here, I'm going to mimic this Zulu knot. And this one's quite different than the tight little ones that are at the head. So they can be different. They can hang long, they can shrink up. Depends on what you want to do. And anything goes. There is no rules to this. Um, I always like to start usually in the crown or right off to one side. All right, so what you're going to do in the beginning, and Natalie, I'm going to try to keep her hair sort of loose at the root. So on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Some Zulu knots, they'll, you can take up super tight. On some of the shorter ones up here, that's what I did to shrink it. You start really tight, and as you're twisting the hair, you twist, 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 and keep twisting out. And what happens is, as you twist, the hair gets super, super springy. And as it comes back, it's, it starts to twist itself. So for a long one, it would just sort of hang. For a short one, I would start the base as tight as I could get, sorry, as tight as I could get, and then actually let this come back into around the bottom, and then take the twirl around, and then it becomes very tight and fitted to the head. And that's how I created the littler ones. All right, so this one I'm gonna do a little looser at the root. So I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna put my finger about where I want the looseness to start, and I'm gonna start twisting past it, okay? So that way the base is a little bit looser. I'm gonna finish out. You wanna get this as tight as you can, all the way to the tip, and you just start to let it come back up. Then you're gonna actually grab the end of this and pin it up underneath. And I'm just gonna link it in, and there it is. And this piece I'm gonna leave down. So you see, random, I leave sections down between the Zulu knots and the chain area. All right, so this last area, right on this side of the head, I'm going to bring around, and I'm actually gonna bring this over and off to the side. All right, I'm gonna leave that top out. That's gonna be my section out. This one right here is going to be, I'm gonna show you how to do a chain and knotting. Basically, you take two pieces and split it. Or one piece, I'm sorry, and split it. You take the ends out and around through the middle and start to pull inward. You keep to do it, keep doing it, and the hair shrinks. It starts to get shorter and shorter to the head. And the knots are tight, so they go right up on top of each other, causing almost like a coil effect there as well, but it's in knot form. When I do a chain, the difference is in the amount of attention you're putting on the hair. I'm gonna go in a little bit close like this, come back out. Don't pull all the way in, leave a middle. So there's your chain. You're starting to create a chain in the hair. And again, out at the end, and then tie off into a knot. Okay, then I'm gonna take this chain effect that's going to open up and you can see, so there's, there's ways of using this technique. You can actually pin it in quite roughly, any which way you want. 
Some people will leave them hang in, over top of curl and it gives you a cool wave pattern to the hair. So there's all kinds of ways of using this. So I'm gonna take this in and prop it up and start to build on this chain effect a fuller side. And this works really well on curly hair because of the cushion that curly hair gives you. And then I'm gonna leave this section down. I'm gonna take a little more of this section. I'm gonna leave these pieces down. This is all really what you wanna see. I'm gonna pull this one piece right now back up into this and prop it up underneath. And I'm going to start Zulu knotting this as a prop, leaving my base again loose and then spinning it up underneath. And I don't really want this one to be really tight, so I'm going to wind it up like that. And that will start to prop. Now I'm gonna start actually crushing over some of the technique that I did. I'm actually gonna start pinning this, the hair down and around these sections that I just did. Now, on this side, I'm gonna start coming down towards the bottom area, causing the fullness to come this way. So the fullness is gonna go across the head diagonally. And I'm just gonna do soft, soft twists on this piece, not really heavy or strong, because I wanna keep the fullness in this. And I'm just taking the tips at the end, twisting them up into the hair, and causing another soft Zulu knot only at the end. Okay, so we're on our last section down through the back and I'm going to be now adjusting my two longer um, Zulu knot area. And if, if you notice how I've twisted the hair and I've actually hidden all the opening spots through the hair. But you, what you want to do is also see all these techniques happening through the hair. So you want to be able to see the avenues of where you're pulling the hair through. Okay, so this is my last one. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna actually do a chain here. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna softly pull up on that because I want the roughness. I don't want it so shiny or perfect right here. I want it full. And that's where I'm gonna place my pin. I'm gonna bring it back in and I'm just gonna set it right inside on top of the knot. Pin it down in. And that'll lock it. It's a little loose and that's how I want it. I'm gonna bring the Zulu knot around it so you see the technique of the knot and it looks like a twist. Taking a large pin, anchoring it to the scalp. I'm gonna bring it right up through and right over top of my last avenue area of where I've made my partings. Check the shape. Make sure it looks balanced. And then these last little pieces I've left out for it to be romantic, to be soft, you actually want to take them and uh, place them anywhere you'd like. This one I'm going to bring back and just sort of hang over that knot. And then this one I'm going to take back through this area and pull around. So it drops back a little bit further and it sits behind the knot. And remember, we're trying to shrink the hair up. So another one is taking your pin and grabbing it and twisting the hair up into the pin. And you wanna make sure your pin just doesn't show out in your hairline. Come back down. That way you have some soft pieces, but you have control of the length. This is how you would take long hair, shrink it back to the head with two techniques, chains and knots. And this is my model of Madly, and I want to thank her for coming today.